Welcome students in my new tutorial and based upon LibreOffice, I'll be explaining about the topic styles. A style is a collection of all formatting information which you want to save and then apply on the document. Now directly I'll take you towards the interface of LibreOffice Writer so that you could understand easily how to use the different styles. So this is my basic interface of LibreOffice and I'll be covering styles. So where is this styles option? You could see here, the second option is styles, keyboard shortcut is Alt plus two. If I click it, you could see different styles here. And the name is also coming, paragraph styles, character styles, frame styles, page styles, list styles, table styles, fill format mode. So, option I told how to open from here. Other option you can click here on the menu. Click on styles and at the bottom you can click here manage styles okay and then if styles option bar is not coming it will come from here also i'll show you i'll close it styles manage styles and you could see the styles option bar is coming so directly one by one we'll be covering each and every style so firstly, the definition already have explained. Now style categories. Now liberal office provides six style categories. First is page style. Second is paragraph style. Third character style. Fourth frame style. Fifth list style. Sixth table. So firstly, page style. Now all documents in writer are based on pages. Hence for formatting them, page style is used. Now you know each and every document in a writer is based upon pages. Now different pages are there. It could be based upon their size, their width. So it's very important. And uh, it also decides the page size. Like it defines basic page layout like page size, its margin, placement of header and footer, footnote, borders and background. So firstly, we'll be covering the page style. Directly, I'll take you towards the screen. The interface of LibreOffice Writer. So first of all, what I'll do, I'll type here D, D, T and F3. What it does, automatically some random paragraph comes in front of you. So this is a shortcut, DTF3. It can take any kind of paragraph. It saves your time to type. So what I'll do, I just make different paragraphs from this paragraph. And for doing that, I'll just press enter key. Or wherever full stop is there, there I can use. So different, different paragraphs I had made from here. Now, firstly, we have to cover page style. Page styles. So what I'll do, I'll just click upon this page styles. So different styles can be viewed. So what I'll do, I'll click on envelope here. Okay. So I'll click on envelope. Now just see the size of the page. Okay. As I click on envelope, now just see overall dimensions of the your page is being changed. Now width is more, height is less. That is page style is doing. The first one is default page style. Now this is the default page style. Then first page. Suppose I am doing 
it remains the same not that much difference and wallop then landscape you could see so with this practical example i think you have easily understood what the page style is doing it is simply controlling the size of the page i hope it is clear to you now moving towards the next style second is paragraph style a paragraph begins and ends by pressing enter key just now i was practically doing that paragraph formatting includes tab stops text alignment line spacing and borders so this also will do it practically so there are different paragraphs here okay so what i'll do i'll select the paragraph styles suppose i am selecting address c you could see the difference is going on first one second one third one fourth one you could see the difference okay you could see how it is showing now so this is applying upon the whole paragraph suppose now i am taking another paragraph then suppose now i want to select heading you could see here the difference here also see i have selected till here but the style is applied upon the whole paragraph so i hope paragraph style is also very much clear to you that means the style formatting styles but it is based upon the whole paragraph so now i'll be moving towards the character style but first of all definition of character style this styling is used to work on block of letters that is words in a paragraph instead of the whole paragraph you see earlier we were covering the whole paragraph now we'll be covering the block of letters so that means whatever selection we'll be doing the styles will take effect upon that letters only or bunch of words by using character styles you can change the appearance of a part of a paragraph without affecting the other part that means by using the character styles only some part will be selected for example suppose i want to put effect upon these words only that means it is a kind of a paragraph but i only want to change the formatting of this much part so that i can easily do with using character style okay so i hope this is also clear character styles allow changing the text color text size highlighting text and emphasizing it that means changing of the text color text size can be also be changed highlighting the text and emphasizing it so practically we will be doing it so here different text is there i'll just first of all increase the size and uh, i told you the keyboard shortcut earlier control and bracket keys can be used to increase or decrease the size so i'll be increasing the size so that it becomes easier for you to understand so now character style so i'll be clicking upon character style first of all there is no character style i'll be selecting some text okay i'll be clicking upon bullets you could see here the changes then i'll be choosing suppose definition suppose here i'll be selecting definition emphasis you could see the changes okay here i want to change to place holder you could see here the changes selecting some more text strong emphasis you could see here the difference then here i want to change you could see here that means whatever the selection i am doing 
effect is taking upon those characters only i hope this is very much clear to you what the character style is doing so now again i'll be moving towards the next topic that is list so next topic is frame it is not list so what is a frame using frames a document can be organized in sections that means it is divided into different parts so that each section of the page can have a different appearance so frames are like containers like boxes which can hold text graphics and list so practically i'll be explaining you for that i'll be inserting some image so suppose here i want to insert the image so first of all firstly page style i'll be taking default page style and here i'll be inserting some image so i'll click on insert image or from here also i can do insert insert image so i can take any image of mine i'll just decrease the size so i want to use the frame here for using the frame this is the frame styles i'll be using here frame and as a result you will see the border now this is the border it is a frame actually it allows you to control and it has divided the page into different parts. now this part is different okay so i hope this is also very much clear to you what is the use of a frame dividing the page into different parts now the next topic now the list two style lists in a document the writer provides a separate category it can be used to style list by putting numbering or bullets so you have done numbering or bullets in ms word also and in open office so it is just the giving of numbering or bullets to of a different kind or specified numeric format in numbers also you can give uh, sometimes we have to make a list and we have to give the numbers or we have to give the bullets so practically it will be more clearer to you so i'll take you towards libri office writer i'll delete this one and suppose here are different uh, paragraphs i want to use the list here list style so i'll be using here only uh, the first option is bullet a simple line i'll double click it here and you will see here the bullets and uh, the second option i have to select all the second option simple dots tick bullet x you could see here bullet x uh, bullet this style numbering numbering abc numbering so different different you know uh, numbering options are there and bullets are there i hope it is very much clear to you so i'll move towards the next topic now after list now table table style category allows to format a table by adding borders using different text or border colors aligning text inside the table having different patterns or text color that means we have suppose we have to make a table now the style is present for that also to quickly format the overall table okay we have to just put our concentration towards our table content the rest of the formatting is been done by table style so practically we'll see that how to do that so for that i have to insert a table here so what i'll do under home tab you can click from top also so you can click from menu also table menu and there is the option insert table second if your user interface is set into tab then you can select from home tab and in home tab 
the table option is there from here also you can insert the table so suppose i am selecting a simple format two by two that means two column and two row and i am giving the title there as roll number and name by pressing the tab key i can automatically increase the row okay three so one table is been made okay now uh, what i have to do my insertion point should be should be inside and then from here table styles i'll click upon the table styles from here and different styles are there what i have to do i have to select some style like academic you could see the difference here and then box list blue this one you could see the difference green box list red box list yellow elegant financial so many styles are present you can select according to your choice so i hope the overall concept of styles is very much clear to you how to use the styles the next option is fill format so this method is used when a same style is to be applied at many places scattered in the document that means it is used to copy this style formatting styles and it can be used to paste it at different places practically i'll be explaining it suppose here i'm using some character style here like strong emphasis now this character style i want to apply upon different text so how to do that simply i'll choose from here fill format mode i'll click here fill format mode so by clicking it it is on you could see here fill icon and what i'll do from here i'll select that text so whichever text i'll select it will copy the formatting and paste it to the selected text you could see it i hope the working of fill format is also very much clear to you and you can press the escape key to move out from the fill format or you can click it here once you click it is on and again you click it is off so i hope you are very much clear about the different styles and today we have covered paragraph styles character styles frame styles page styles list styles table styles and fill format mode uh, so with all these topics i am closing my tutorial here because seems my tutorial is little lengthy so we'll be back soon with the new tutorial and if you like my explanation then please do like share and comment and also subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it earlier okay take care bye bye meet you soon in my next tutorial